freshening up my color this is what I'm gonna do first I am going to make sure first of all that it's not lifting and I'm not using my nails I'm just using my fingers just make sure it's not flat so that I can get all the crevices okay second I'm going to use some raw shea butter just as a protectant for my blonde tresses already I don't want to over process Take the raw shea butter and I'm going to just rub it over my hair, okay? That's so. Because we don't want to over process. Next, I'm going to take our good friend here, Vaseline, and I'm going to just base the edges or my perimeter, you know, just to make sure I put no chemical burns or anything like that. Make sure y'all covered and good to go, okay? Then I'm gonna mix my product. So next, I'm going to mix the color per directions in the box. And I am using color by Dark and Lovely. This is Luminous Blonde and this is my go-to versus always bleaching my hair with bleach, okay? Brightening it up. So I'm gonna go off camera. Follow the directions, but then I'm going to show you guys a tip that I do. So, first things first, you actually mix the cream developer within the bottle along with the high lift booster. Okay, these are the contents that came inside the box. Follow directions and you won't mess this up. Now you're going to shake, 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 shake your booty. Shake your booty, shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. So you make sure this is really shaking up very well. Next step, the conditioning highlighter. You're going to put this inside of this, and you're gonna do what? Shake, 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 shake your booty. Let's get to mixing. So, shake it up. While I'm shaking this, let me just say this to y'all. I've been using Dark and Lovely Luminous Blonde since I went blonde in 2000. I think 15? No, 2000. 2000, November of 2016. I have been using Luminous Blonde. When I first initially colored my hair, I did use bleach, but bleach can be very drying. It can be not so good for your hair. Um, I do know people do bleach their hair quite often, and normally people who have like just natural, like no other type of chemical treatments such as relaxers, perms, anything like that. Um, obviously, coloring your hair is a chemical treatment. However, you do well to just brighten or lighten your natural tresses, okay? In the condition that they already in. And this is how I keep my luminous blonde luminous. So the step that the tip that I'm going to show you guys that I do that is not required on the box is I have a mixing bowl, okay? And I'm going to pour the contents of this inside the mixing bowl. I'm just someone this spout could get it all and stuff like that. However, Oh, he's 
got to make an appearance always. So I'm going to put this in the bowl and mix this up. Now that I have the product all mixed up, I have my brush and then ready to just mix it a little bit more. I'm going to put on a glove and I genuinely only put on one glove to be honest. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my mixture and I'm going to start applying my product. Okay, and I start like right around my hairline because my natural hair color is a like a number four and baby around these edges or these this perimeter that's where the color act like it don't be wanting to like change okay so I'm just going to apply this all over my head and I am going to be generous I'm not going to be stingy or anything I'm gonna give it all I got okay because let's face it it's your product okay I don't want the majority of the product to be in the bowl okay product supposed to be on your hair honey so I'm gonna go ahead and go through my whole head and the goal is you can't get an appointment like I couldn't this week he was booked up, honey. Everybody getting fly for Juneteenth. <laughs> Dr. Lovely gonna save the day. So you're gonna make sure you cover your hair. And this is why I like using the brush technique. It's just because I can make sure I get a nice, even, Get it, get it, honey. And like I said, do not be afraid to use your product. Have you ever seen people like try to like lighten or color their hair, especially lightening it, okay? Um, and then don't put enough product. Mm -hmm. But then be wondering why you ain't got the results you want it. Cause you ain't put enough product on it, okay? It's already mixed. Might as well use it, okay? Then we just go back through, lift, because I do have a little bit of length. That's called I needed that damn haircut, okay? How good though. Just make sure it's nice and evenly covered, okay? And make sure you get behind your ear because having shadows is not cute, okay? Not cute at all. All right. So, right now I'm going to go get a plastic cap, processing cap, and I'm going to put it on my hair and I'm going to let my hair process for a complete 30 minutes off camera. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna let y'all see what it looked like in 30 minutes. Because I check, after 30 minutes, I check every 15 minutes just to see if I'm like, I'm covered, okay? I'm, I'm Gucci, okay? Once I do that, then I plan to wash, okay? So, I'm going to go put on a processing cap and I'll see y'all in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm just gonna lift it up just so we can see where we at. And it still see a little yellow. So I'm going to let it ride out for another 15 minutes. And make sure your cap, like some people purposely like push their cap down so that they can, I guess, get the heat for honey. 
the product gonna be on your cap, okay? Okay, so we're gonna let this go for another 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then we'll check her and we'll see how she's doing. All right, timer's going off. Let's check. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, double check. I have a mirror in here, so I know I can check the back too. All right, now that we look like we have fully processed and it's looking really creamy white, I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair off camera, okay? Be back. All right, so, whew, getting the water out of my ears. Now, let's see what we unveil. Luminous blood, luminous blood, luminous blood. So, y'all, I take it a step further. I do. I don't have to, but I do. See them, see them, see them little cuts. Yep, I'm gonna even freshen them up a little bit, okay? But, as you can see, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. 40, wait, 45 minute processing. So, what I'm going to do next is to get rid of just whatever like yellow tones are in there. This is the next step that I do. I'm gonna take this Matrix So Silver and I'm going to put a dime size in my hand. Okay, it looks purple. I'm gonna mix this with just a little bit of conditioner. Why? Because I do not need my freshly brightened tresses turning purple, okay? So I'm going to just use the dark and lovely conditioner that came in it, and I'm going to mix it together. Just like so. Now, there's another way that I do this too and I want to like freshen my um like if they start looking a little I don't know orangey from products and stuff like that I also use this product by Manic Panic that does the same exact thing so I put this on my hair okay rub it in now I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes okay no cap no nothing okay so my hair looks really straight right now okay however I promise y'all by tomorrow's wash it'll be that curly it sure will what happens when you process your hair at any given time so I'm going to let this sit for five minutes. I just put the timer on the clock. However, um, this is like a great length. Like even if I wanted like a, 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 a little pixie, okay. Just style your hair with your fingers, okay. Um, go that way, okay. So y'all can see that color is even now what looks more blonde blonde is the sides but that's okay that's where my hair was the darkest um it's just now everything is nicely colored okay i trust y'all i gotta check for myself this back baby 
Okay, let's see. Okay, we good. So, while this just does what it does, I don't use a toner, even when I bleach my hair, I don't use a toner. Why? Because I feel like my hair is on fire, okay? After you done chemically treated your hair with bleach, and then you go back and you use a toner. No, ma'am, I do not have time to be, um, cause my hair is on fire, okay? No, ma'am. So. Once again, this is why I like the Dark and Lovely product, Luminous Blonde, because it's like all in one step. Pretty much, you see this is the raw color that you get fresh from the box. If you are previously lightened blonde, for each touch up that you do on your blonde, I promise you, your hair is going to get lighter and lighter. Because I get a haircut every two weeks faithfully, just didn't happen this week um i just always freshen my color up because i always have new growth and because i'm constantly cutting it i'm not damaging my hair so i've had some people while we wait for this to process i've had some people uh, mention to me about using opalex um for my blonde tresses um and that's what kind of made me a little nervous about coloring my hair this summer um, just due to I just know the the stress that lightening your hair particularly this light I know the stress that it can put on your tresses okay so I want at least once a year I go dark and mainly it's during the winter time I will go dark dark I'm talking about black I go from one extreme to the next and I just give my hair a break okay but honey, when the sun starts showing its presence and illuminating its warmth where the heat can be felt, it's just, it's time to have hot mama summer hair, okay? So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it different this time. This time, I do not bleach, okay? I achieved this color without bleaching okay i used dark and lovely's um luminous for the initial and then i had to do, do a double process so i did double process it the first go around twice okay because it's just a lot of hair it's a lot of lifting from black hair to this so the color that you saw that i had before that was the original color that i got from the first initial blonding for the season and i think i i got lightened pretty well i had some d i had some um demarcation as far as, as the hair was growing out and stuff like that but for the most part it all went blonde and i had some areas where some toning needed to be taking place but i just knew when i did my next coloring i knew that everything would all come together so you got to trust the process it is not going to get this white or this light on the first go around it's going to take you at least three processes so as i said in the beginning i did the first process i did process it twice this is my second coloring since i went blonde for the season and you see the time is going off so let me rinse this out all right here we go it's time for the big reveal. Woo, 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 woo. Bam. There we go. I am Luminous Blonde, baby. Luminous Blonde. So, what do I do to style my hair? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is numero uno very important okay importante all right to condition your blonde hair so i do take a little bit of this and i do go ahead and put some mortise in my hair as a leave-in conditioner and the reason why ain't no such thing as over conditioning okay so just go through put that in Mm 
Yeah, that's not a dog. Okay. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Will I walk out with my hair like this? I sure will. I sure will, honey, with the quickness. Cause you wanna know why? Cause I like bad head hair. I don't like hair that look uberly neat and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I could literally style my hair with this conditioner, but I ain't, I'll be back. Now, just to add a little bit more protection from something that is actually supposed to be left in your hair, I love this Camilla Rose and it's Honey Hydrate and this is a leave-in conditioner. It comes in a honey-like bottle, as you can see, and you don't need a lot of this, just literally a dollop. And as you can see, it has the texture and the smell of honey, okay? Hey, honey! So, you emulsify in your hands, and I go around these edges first, y'all, okay? And then just put the rest of the product through your hair, okay? Just rub it through really, really good. Now, when it comes to styling my hair, I get asked this question all the time on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, okay? I get asked this question all the time. And plug, if you ain't following me on Instagram, you might want to go follow, okay? I am Eclectnista on Instagram. And be sure to follow and keep up with your girls everyday adventures, cause honey, I do have an adventure. Anywho, back to the hair. Always asking me, what do I use? I'm a minimalist when it comes to my hair, okay? Very low maintenance. That's probably why I'm a girl rocking a fade. Very low maintenance. It's not about being lazy. It's just that I always like to look sharp, okay? I like to look crisp. I like to look well put together. No matter if I just roll out the damn bed, I'm going to the gym, I got a quick errand to run. All I know is that when I walk out the door on any given day, my hair is slayed, okay? You'll never catch me walking out the house with no bonnet or a do-rag, okay? Because, um, child please, I'm too grown for that, okay? So, this is the final product. No, this ain't the final. This is the final setting product that I use. And this is Talia Wajid. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I know everybody be messing it up. I know I'm one of them, okay? Hello, I love, love, love her whole line. And on a daily, I do shampoo my hair with, it's either between Talia and Cream of Nature. It just depends on if I'm in a hurry. Because when I do her product, I actually allow the product to sit, you know, while I'm cleaning up or, you know, doing stuff. Um, but then if I'm in a hurry and I need to shampoo my hair right quick, I don't like to really shampoo my hair every day. And I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all I do because I don't. Um, but when I do shampoo, Cream of Nature is my go-to just for something quick, fast, and go. Okay? But... In the meantime, on a daily basis, I pretty much just re-wet my hair by just putting my hand under some water, re-wetting it, reactivating what's ever in it, and keep it moving, okay? But I like to use this as a styling foam because that is what it is, crinkles and curls. And I take this and I just work it all through, you know? Take it to the back, take it around the perimeter make sure I get it all okay and literally massage it into my scalp you know short hair girls want, want a little massage too that's the one thing I do enjoy about going to the box shop child a man washing my hair Woo! so the styling is gonna be this simple Brush it all down. Okay, and right now, if y'all could probably like, girl, like you just got a fresh relaxer, but I promise you, I didn't. Y'all will see me later 
in the week in a vlog and this how we done waved all the way back up it's just freshly washed and freshly chemically treated so this is all i'm gonna do okay slick have a pixie i slick can do some finger waves but all i'm gonna do is just move my nails through my hair like that give it some texture i tell y'all i'm not big on um neat hair when my daughter gets home later because she is now officially a licensed cosmetologist yeah when she gets home later i will have her clean the back of my neck up as far as like with the clippers i will have her go through my design and just freshen it up just tap 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 it And as you can see, pretty much, I am styled and ready to get my day together. So, once this hair goes back into its, it reverts back into its natural state of a wave, okay? Um, I'll still be able to do this, but it will look more of like a flip, like a curl, because I need a haircut. Okay? I do. But I'm just showing you guys how if you need a haircut and you couldn't get to the bob shop, this is how you can just revitalize your whole vibe. Okay? Brush the little hairs down around the face. I'm about to go get dressed, and I'm going to show y'all what this look like when it's all put together. All right, and just like that, complete beat completes the whole look. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this how to freshen up your haircut when you need a haircut along with your color. So if you guys like videos like this, please be sure to hit the like button, comment, be sure to subscribe because your girl posts weekly and I will see you eclectnistas in the next video <laughs> y'all i was about to say vlog okay because that's what i am i'm a i'm a vlogger all right all right hope you guys like this and i will see you guys in the next one